I've been on my way up, now it's really far down I don't think I'll feel it when I hit the ground Hey guys, it is Monday the 13th and I'm about to show you guys my desk setup because I just got my box. It is my new desk and I'm so excited. Here is Kiyomi. He is <gasps> so excited too. I'm really excited to go through and declutter some more makeup because I did do one at the end of last year, but I really feel like I need to just do a cutthroat declutter and get rid of stuff that I do not use, especially lip colors. I have so many lip colors. So this is the desk that I've been using. This desk, I actually just moved to this wall like 30 minutes ago to do my makeup, but this was actually angled. And I think I'm gonna have my desk angled because the ring light was in the corner. This one is quite wide as you can see. There's a lot of space, you know, but the new one is going to be like this wide. It's 19 inches. So that is why I really needed a new desk. I think it's a bit longer. I think it goes out to here. So I'm gonna see how that one goes. But first, just want to run through, hey there, my tabletop. A clock, so I know what time it is, obviously. Makeup brush holder, this little holder for lipsticks and products that I really love and that are just beautiful to look at. Some face products that I just prefer to have standing. My hand sanitizer, which is so not cute, but here it is. This is Windex, which I need to like put somewhere else. It's usually on the floor, hiding, you know? I have this acrylic organizer. This is alcohol. This is all hair stuff that I just haven't put anywhere. Tissues, lip gloss. This Fenty Beauty one is almost done, as you can see, but it does not fit in any of these, so it's just been hanging out. And random stuff. So this first drawer is all face stuff. This has eye stuff, it's just random. The second drawer is all eye stuff, and this used to be so full, but it's not anymore. So all the palettes that I use pretty regularly, some of them not even, are here. And this third one is the one that I'm not that proud of because there are so many lip colors. These things are washcloths that I put on top of my vanity, so when I film it doesn't make any noise and I just wipe things on there. I know, don't judge me. And then I have more palettes, like contour palettes over there. These are liquid lipsticks, these are lip glosses and more like matte pencils. And these are all of the Stila shimmery liquid eyeshadows. And then this is all face stuff. I really don't use a lot of liquid lipstick, so I need to go through that. This drawer is nail polish, and I do want to go through and declutter my nail polish because I know a lot of it is expired, and I really don't do my nails that often, and I know what I like. So I'm gonna go through that, and I wanna get a different box. This is just an old shoe box that I use, and I just want something nicer. And this bottom drawer is all storage for Makeup brushes, lashes are back there, so it's just storage, I don't really go down here. So I'm going to declutter my stuff right now because it is actually garbage day. So if I can do this like real fast, I can put it out there and just forget about everything. So this is all that I'm keeping. These are all lip glosses and these are all of the liquid lipsticks. And this is what I'm getting rid of. So I have two Z palettes and they're ancient and I'm ready to get rid of all the eyeshadows inside. I'm going to keep the Z palettes just in case like one day I need to depot anything, but I'm going to be throwing away all the eyeshadows in here because they're so old. And I'm also going to be getting rid of my Vice, I think, 4 palette, Vice 3 palette, because, again, it's so old. I never reached for it, honestly. I mean, I did get a good use out of it. I see that I did use it, but I just get upset every time I see it because it's something that I bought on a whim, didn't really think about it, so I don't want to be reminded of that time in my life, so going in the trash. Now for these ones, I really don't know what to do about these. I think I might just send them to my family in the Philippines because they are great, but I really don't need that much color anymore in my collection and I have color, so 
I'm going to be like putting those aside but not in my makeup collection makeup desk this situation is pretty good for me these are palettes that I sometimes reach for I mean more so in the summer I feel like I get really into these shimmery ones and these bad habit ones and I just have some small ones I got rid of a lot of small palettes in my last declutter and I'm pretty happy I'm really excited to see what this is all going to look like in my new desk so I have one hour to try to get that together I just want to see it set up so when I come home like it's all set up and exciting and maybe I can get the cardboard out there in time we shall see so yesterday i got rid of a lot of makeup today i'm going to go through my nail polish which will be interesting i used to have so much nail polish and i got rid of it probably like three years ago and a lot of it was so old like 10 years old so the goal is to put all of my nail polish into this box i'm going to give you like a reference of my hands where's my hand i have small hands but yeah this is an old perfume box it's gonna go from a shoe box to this i do want to get actual storage because a goal of mine also is to get rid of shoe boxes and actually have storage bins because i've been slowly like getting rid of shoe boxes and i just want actual storage for my stuff so i'm going to finish my coffee cake and my coffee and we're going to Get rid of some nail polish together. I'm all done with that. I moved on to water, so we're on to better things. But I'm gonna show you guys what I've done with the room. So this is the corner. It looks great. I love how shallow it is. It doesn't stick out as far. It is longer, like I said yesterday, but I have makeup in there already. These drawers are so tiny, like I'm not used to it. So I can't stand products up like this, which is quite sad. So. I'm going to be a different person with this new desk. And over here is the Alex drawer. I have to go through and get some stuff out. I don't know where it's going. And I have all these products that need a home because it's clearly not going to fit in here. I really don't want to get a tabletop organizer, but we shall see. I don't know what's going to happen. But the good thing about this desk is that I have all this open space down here. So I could get a little thing down here to put palettes. This desk is from the Opal House collection at Target and it is MDF and wood, like the legs are wood. I just love white for a makeup desk, even though you can see it. It's just easy to clean, there are no ridges, so that's why I picked a white desk over a wood one. So this is a look at all the nail polish. I'm going to put the ones that I'm keeping in there and the ones that I'm getting rid of in that box. So here we have the piles and I'm pretty happy with what has happened. I'd say I got rid of 40% of the nail polishes and you can see a pattern here with what I like. Most of these were expired. I have a few gel like LED ones. And just in case you guys are wondering, this is the gel nail polish that I use. I just get it from Sally's. I have five colors. Back there are the top coat, base coat, and the chip-free bonder that keeps it on your nails. So yeah, I just have like two darker ones, a pink glaze, a kind of beige color and this bright pink that I don't really wear that often. I'm not sure why I got it, um, but it is a nice summer color. And I keep all of these in this pouch. We reach that time of the day. It's time to leave the house. I'm all dressed in my comfy Gymshark sweater, sweatshirt. Athleisure today and I'm very excited. I love these kinds of days where I'm dressed but I'm not really dressed. We're gonna go to Marshall's. I want to look for storage boxes. I don't know what else. You know how Marshall's goes. There's just a lot of stuff there. I have to confess this haul turned into a kitchen makeover but I'm not really going to go into the kitchen today. This is all about organizing my vanity. So as you can see back, no, you cannot see actually. There are 
these storage bins right here. And I, what was that? Excuse me. So I found more of them. Those were the only two that I found last time I was there. And I found this set of two small ones, which are those size, and then a large one. I'm really excited because I think my nail polish will go nicely in these. And I just love the color. I think it's really bright and clean. And I just, I just love them. Oh my God, this is what is leaking. For my makeup, hopefully, I have an idea. I found this caddy. It is real wood, it's $10, and I'm thinking of putting makeup brushes in here. I just went through all my lip liners and I weeded out five of them because I don't wear these and I have very similar colors like these berry shades. So these are going in the trash and I think I'm going to put all my lip products in here in this basket. This is from the bullseye's playground the dollar spot at target and they still have them right now because they came back after the holidays hey guys it's thursday and i'm about to head out to the mall i actually have to go to the muji store to get little compartments for my drawers i don't want to show everything like organized until it's the way i want it so hopefully today is the last day of doing that and i am going to return or we'll exchange the hourglass concealer i just find that it's too dark for me. I always end up getting the wrong shade. Like I usually go too light, so that's why I went a little bit darker, but for color correcting, sepia is not the shade. So I actually might get the next shade, which isn't a color corrector, it's just yellow. Anyway, I'm going to go because I honestly was supposed to leave the house like an hour ago. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to show you my desk and it's finally done. I'm so excited to show you guys. I actually used it this morning when I got ready for work. So I'm going to flip you around. I'm gonna show you what I did with the room. So here we have my side of the room and as you can see the desk is now in front of the window. In the corner is this beautiful piece lily that I got and it's just so beautiful. But the desk is exactly in the middle and I kept the chair. I do want to get a different chair but this is the chair I have for now. So on the top I do have this three drawer organizer from Muji and this acrylic organizer that I've had for a while. I put this beautiful little vase of flowers. These are actually the flowers that I used in my wedding photo shoot. And they're like my spring flowers that I put out. I just wanted a little bit of something, add some height to this desk, and I think it looks really cute. I have a votive holder with all of my lip liners, my time turner clock that needs batteries, and Hermione. Inside of the cauldron, I put the washcloth that I like to put on my desk inside, and I love it if it's perfectly. Up top are lip glosses, in the middle are liquid lipsticks, and then the bottom just has the Modern Renaissance palette and some matchsticks by Fenty and the Bare Minerals palette. I did keep the acrylic organizer. It has face brushes in one, tools in the other, and then eye brushes and the Fix Plus. And then over here I have the wooden organizer. It was on the side, um, but I decided I liked it this way because it's just in reach. So this one has hand sanitizer. My mirror of arrows that is just hanging out in there. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I have a brush cleaner and the alcohol and then these are contour palettes and then I have palettes that I use like the chocolate bar and the born to run and my Harry Potter tin is just hanging out and the one to the right has my complexion sprays or primers and this one is for soap brows as well as an eye cream in the first drawer is all of my complexion products as you can see it's all pretty organized into their categories here are primers and foundations like actual foundations i just have a couple little things there my beauty blender case i don't need it because i actually have a beauty blender holder but i can't help but keep this just in case these are just more primer type things this is contour blush this is concealer more complexion like stuff that i use on a regular basis and then these are more blushes and powders and this one is all of my eye stuff and I have mascara, q-tips, liquid highlighters, my Stila eyeshadows and hourglass ones, 
brow products, more brow products. These are all eyeliners, primers, and single eyeshadows. Soap for soap brows and a to go equal tools brush that I was using in my purse, but I decided to switch that out. So the right of my desk, I actually put the crate down here, and this is all the stuff that was in storage. And this doesn't fit the Alice in Wonderland palette. I'm keeping it just in case I want to do colorful looks. So I haven't tossed it yet. And then this is all palettes. And then underneath is not that exciting. We just have this bin full of um, like nail stuff, hair stuff, and then my trash is over there. So over here is the ring light. I actually covered it with this shawl and I decided to put it in the corner because if I have the window here, I don't really need it. And this morning, it was really early when I did my makeup and I just pulled this drawer out. I sat angled and I turned on the light and it did help me do my makeup because all of my face products were in this and I switched it around so I could sit diagonally and it works out. So that is my vanity. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I hope you liked coming along with me and watching me declutter and all that jazz. Please hit the thumbs up button and let me know if you like these kinds of videos in the comments. This is the first part of my like home decorating series that I wanna do. It's not gonna be an official series because it just takes me forever to decide, but I hope you enjoyed this video and these types of home videos. Please let me know in the comments if you do enjoy them. Thank you for watching again. I hope you're having a magical day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.